Hello everybody, we are gonna do a quick 15 minute workout. I've had some comments from you that you'd like to do a step and weights. So rather than doing a step and weights video, I'm just gonna do a 15 minute strength uh, class right now that you can add on to any of the step videos or high-low videos, okay? 15 minutes, so grab two sets of weights, something heavier, something a little bit lighter, and we're gonna do 11 exercises. I'm going to do 45 seconds of work with a 15 second rest and transition to the next exercise, and then we'll do a stretch at the end. So here we go, should be about 15 minutes long. So a little music on in the background, and let's get started. So we're gonna start with squats and deadlifts. So grab your heavy weights, squats and deadlifts. I'm gonna just demonstrate real, really quick and then I'm gonna start my timer. I'm gonna do one squat, feet about hip distance apart, one squat, and then I'm gonna do a deadlift. Deadlift, and then I'm gonna stand up. Okay, so one of each, I'm gonna start my timer. I like to talk a lot when I'm um, doing these exercises, giving you some cues, so here we go. One of each, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. So it's a squat, and then this is a hip hinge. Deadlift, stand up. So squat and hip hinge deadlift. All right, keep your chest tall on your squat. On your deadlift, slide the weights down the front of your legs. On your deadlift, you wanna have a little bend in your knees. Drive the hips back. And on the way up from that deadlift, drive through the ground, through your heels. Keep going. We're gonna do the last one here. Last one. All right, take a tiny little break. We're gonna do rows next. I call these reciprocal rows. One is going up, one is going down. Nice flat back, abs in strong and tight. Here we go. The music is just in the background. I'm not lifting to the beat of the music. Now, any issues at all with your back, you might prefer to do one side at a time, and then just make sure you switch halfway if you're doing one side. All right, so on these rows, make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. Strong core. Eyes are down, tuck your chin. Make sure you breathe. Exhale on the way up. Almost done. Last one. And release. Stand up. Next exercise, a reverse lunge into a calf raise. Weights are here, or you can carry them high. Ready, set, go. Lunge, calf raise. Lunge, calf raise. Keep going. I'm just going to move my mic a little bit. Sounds a little breathy. So you're dropping the knee towards the ground on your calf raise. Come up on your big toes. Squeeze your ankles towards each other. Make sure that that front knee stacks over your ankle. 10 more seconds. You got this, gang. I hope you've picked a weight that is challenging you. And take a break. Next one is a standing, actually I'm gonna do a lateral lunge together with the standing chest fly. So take a look. I'm gonna step out into my lateral lunge, push back to the center, and then do a standing chest fly, one on each side. And then I'm gonna step up the other way. I better move my mat. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Lateral lunge, push to the center. Standing chest fly. Palm up, other side. Out, and then chest fly. Up and down. Go at your own pace. So if you wanna go a little quicker than I am, that's totally fine. If you need to go slower, that's fine too. Whew. Make sure when you step out, you send the hips back. 
palm up. Thumb is higher than your pinky. All right, this is your last one. Good job. Next exercise, sumo, squat, curl, and press. Widen up your stance, the weights are here. You're gonna curl up and then press over your head. Here we go. Squat, curl, press. Down, up, press. Make sure when you press over your head, you're not arching your back. Lock in the abs. Knees and toes open. With your legs open, you should be able to go a little deeper than your regular squat. If you have any shoulder stuff going on and pressing overhead is hard for you, then just do the squat curl. Don't forget the press. Last one right here. All right, I'm gonna go to lighter weights. I'm gonna go to my lighter weights. I'm gonna do a lateral raise and a front raise. Can you do it? Join me right now. So one side and one to the front. You got it. As we stand, a little softness in our knees, shoulders relaxed. If that's hard for you to coordinate, you always can do this. Front and then side. Front and side. You got it. I like to make my participants think a bit. So, adding different on each side. Whew. All right, shoulders, let's go. You're almost done. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Last one. All right, I'm gonna go back to my heavier weights. I'm gonna do some bicep curls with a curtsy lunge. Curtsy lunge. Add a little bicep curl. Now, if you're not sure about the curtsy lunge, maybe practice that first. A little curtsy, a little curtsy. And then if you can add the curl with it. If you find it hard to do them together, you can always do your curtsy and then throw in your bicep when you're standing. Curtsy and then your bicep. But when we incorporate lower body, and upper body together. We burn a lot of calories. You might notice your breath is up a bit. Whew, you're breathing harder. These are called compound exercises. Last one, nice work. All right, we're heading down to the ground. We're gonna do some push-ups first. If you can't do push-ups, maybe you have some issues with your wrist, you can always um, go onto your back and do a chest press. All right, push-ups. If you're ready, you can do them from your knees or your toes. Let's go. Spread out your fingers. Spread out your fingers. Elbows are going back 45 degrees. Lower your hips and your chest at the same time. Some people like to race with their face. Keep your everything in one straight line, lower and press. Exhale on the way up, 10 seconds, you got this. Last one, nice work. All right, the next one I'm gonna lie on my stomach. It's called the prone T. We're gonna have our arms out to the side. If you happen to have a towel or something for your forehead, you could always put your forehead on a towel. Arms are straight out to the side, and I want you to lift them up and down. Straight up and down. Ready, let's go. Now your palms can face down. 
or you can have your palms up to the sky. I want you to squeeze between your shoulder blades. So your face is just kind of hovering off the ground. I have to be careful because my mic is hitting the floor. But if you're lifting your torso off the ground, you're gonna feel this in your lower back. And we are not working our lower back. We're strengthening those muscles in our back that help our shoulder blades move properly. So this is a really good exercise. Work hard, I know it's getting hard. Last one and release, good work. Can you flip onto your back? We're gonna do some skull crushers, okay? I'm gonna add some core. I'm gonna lift my legs in the air and at the same time, I'll show you. Wigs up, legs are up. I'm gonna drop one leg and one weight, or sorry, two weights. Ready, I'm gonna start the timer, go. If you find it challenging to do two things together, please keep your feet on the floor and just work on those skull crushers. All right, elbows pointing up or slightly back. This is a hard one for me because my, <laughs> my dumbbell keeps hitting the microphone. That's exactly where I want those dumbbells to come, right close to the ears, right on either side of your forehead, and then you're pushing up. Come down to 90 degrees, and then straight up. Down to 90 and straight up. Remember, you can add the core by dropping a leg at the same time. If you're dropping that leg though, make sure you're not arching your back. You must maintain a neutral spine. All right, take a break. Last exercise, gang, and then we're stretching. I'm gonna do a bear plank. If you don't know what a bear plank is, go to a four-point kneeling position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And I just want you to hover your knees off the ground and hold it. Are you ready? Timer starts now, go. Now, if you wanna make this more challenging, you could do something like tap an opposite shoulder, shoulder, or you could lift a leg and you can extend it out, bring it back in. And if all of that is too much, just hold your bare plank, just hover. Knees about an inch or two off the ground, eyes are down, chin slightly tucked, breathe. I know you're gonna feel a little burn in the thighs. 10 seconds. Upper body's gonna be challenged. Cords working hard. Think about belly to spine. Four, three, two, and one. That's your workout. Good work, everybody. I want you to go on your back. We're gonna do a quick stretch on your back. I want you to bring one of your legs straight up for a hamstring stretch. The other leg, I want you to extend it out long. And the leg that's on the ground, keep it active. So, toe points up, activate your quad, leg in the air. You can hang on to the calf or the hamstring. Try to keep your leg nice and long. Hold it here work everybody whatever leg you have in the air it doesn't matter but we're gonna let the leg fall across our body so if it's your left leg in the air let it fall across all the way to the right keep your arms extend it out palms open and see if you can keep that opposite shoulder blade down on your mat keep breathing Stretch is the best part, you deserve it. You wanna hold for at least 30 seconds. All right, very slowly bring that leg back. Before you put that leg away, can you cross it over? 
so that the ankle rests on the opposite thigh. Now I'm gonna pull the thigh in towards my chest and hold here. You can stay right here in the center or stir around a little bit with this stretch. Shift a little left, a little right. Find your sweet spot in that hip of the front leg. Hold here. Tuck your chin. I've got a ponytail in my hair. It's a little bit in the way, so if you need to, remove that ponytail. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's release. Go to the other leg. Hamstring to start, opposite leg extend out. Remember, the leg on the ground, keep it active. Leg in the air, hold it right here. Wanna to try to keep this leg long. A little trick sometimes, if I don't have a yoga strap nearby, you can always undo your shoelace. Hang on to your shoelaces. Keep breathing. All right, the leg that's in the air is gonna come across. It's just gonna slowly drop to the opposite side. So if it's your right leg that was in the air, drop to the left, extend the arms out. And I like to look away from my leg. Palms are open. All right, look to the center. If you need some help, use your hands to bring that leg back. You're going to take that ankle, cross it over on the thigh. Now, if this is enough, enough of a stretch for you, stay right here. If you can lift the foot off the ground, go for it. Pull that thigh towards you. And remember, stir around a little bit in this stretch. So for example, if it's your left leg, or sorry, your right leg that's in the front, your right leg, if you drop a little bit to the left, I bet you you're gonna feel that a little more in the hip. We are almost done, everybody. You have been fantastic. All right, if you did drop to the side, bring it back to the center. Let's release this. Let's do butterfly with your feet together and your knees apart. Let's just hold right here. Let's add a little something with the upper body. Bring your palms together above your belly. Let's do a back dive over our head. Palms facing the sky. Can you slide your elbows towards your waist? Bring your hands back together and do another back dive. And then once again, just slide the hands, the arms down down and let's do it one more time back dive hands are hovering off the ground slide it down palms to the sky good work and release the upper body let's bring our feet together about hip distance apart and we'll do a couple windshield wipers dropping our knees from one side to the other side windshield wipers and hold the knees in the center Good work. I'm gonna rock and roll. Use one of my legs to rock and roll myself up. I'm gonna do a quick quad stretch by grabbing and reaching behind. I want you to squeeze your glute and push that hip forward looking for quad stretch. I just got myself propped up on my elbow. So make sure you're squeezing the glutes. We are almost done. Release it, I'll just flip to the other side. Grab and hold. If this stretch doesn't work for you, this is another option here for quad stretch. You can sit up, squeeze and press that hip forward and stretch the quad right there. Deep breath in and out. All right, let's sit up, cross our legs. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll do a quick tricep stretch, so you can push with this arm back. If you want to add in a little bit of a lat stretch, you can lean to the side and 
and hold here. Make sure you're not shrugging, relax your shoulders. And come back to the center, we'll switch. Other side, press, and that little lean if that works for you. And release back to the center. I want you to drop your ear to the shoulder. Take this hand, let's sit on it. Ear to shoulder for a little stretch there on the side of the neck, your scalenes. Now all I want you to do is look towards the armpit. Notice that stretch goes a little more in the back of the neck. And release, head up. Take that hand out. We'll go to the other side, ear to shoulder. I'm gonna take this hand and I'm just gonna sit on it. Ear to shoulder, hold tear. All right, just look towards the armpit. And come on up. Roll the shoulders back a few times. We're just gonna interlock the hands behind us. Interlock, or if it works better, place your hands on the ground, prop yourself up, and just open up the chest. Draw the shoulder blades together. Very good. All right, two breaths, and we are done. Deep breath in, big exhale, one more time. In, and exhale. Thank you for joining me. So hopefully you can just add this video on to any of the other step workouts. And we will see you soon. Keep being awesome.